Hello, I'm Michelle with two L's. And I'm Natalie the Red. And we are Force of Light Entertainment. And today we're back for another first time watching reaction. Yes, today we're going to be watching a movie that uh, neither one of us have seen. And that is Jim Carrey's The Mask. Uh, we both grew up watching movies like Dumb and Dumber, Ace Ventura 1 and 2, Liar Liar, but for whatever reason, I just never saw The Mask, Cable Guy, or I know this isn't a comedy, but The Truman Show with, with Jim Carrey. Okay, but, you're gonna have to watch The Truman Show. Okay, okay. But, uh, and I will say, if you know me in real life, if you really know me, you know that I probably quote Jim Carrey from his movies. Like, I'd say, you know, this is true more than any other person and i'm just i'm a huge fan of jim carrey like he's got to be top five of my favorite performers of all time i would say he's especially comedic he's definitely up there for me too but again and and i remember this movie kind of being a thing i just never watched it. i know it's cameron diaz uh, back in the day as yeah, well yeah yeah i think it was like her big start okay excited to watch the mask but before we get started if you enjoy first time watches if you enjoy movie reactions movie reviews Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also smash the thumbs up and go ahead and ring the notification bell. That way you're notified every time we upload a new first time watching we reaction. Don't, we don't want you to miss it. We don't. We want you to join in the fun. Yeah, we don't. You know, I know he has a mask in it. So uh, we'll, we'll just <laughs> and go. it's a comedy. Yes, it's a comedy. So let's go ahead and see if it becomes uh, one of our next beloved Jim Carrey movies or not. Let's see. Again, I don't know how we haven't seen this one, but you know. but I'm, I'm excited. So without any further ado, let's check out The Mask. Okay, so we're in a fictitious city. Got another one coming down, Mike. I have a feeling they're gonna find that mask. I'd say that's, yeah, it could be <laughs> where this is going. Correct, Michelle. <laughs> what a genius. Cracking codes of all kinds around here. I got those concert tickets you wanted. <laughs> You're kidding. So what time should I pick you up? Well, see, here's the thing. My very best girlfriend just came into town, and I know she would die to go to this. Because That's tough. I just can't let her sit home all alone. I'll tell you what. Why don't you just go with your friend? Oh. <laughs> Stanley, you are the nicest guy. Ah. Really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the most sickening display I've ever seen. I disagree. <laughs> I think I'm wearing her down. <laughs> Tonight, I'm gonna take you on a love safari. Tell me more, Buona. The Coco Bungo Club. Hottest new joint in town. Only the creme de la creme need apply. So how do we get in? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the... Because that's how one goes to the bank. She might be on her way to something special. <laughs> I like it. Well, hello, Cameron Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> Stand back and observe. It's gonna be a disaster. Stand back and observe. Can you hold this for me, please? I will hold anything you want. Can you help me? <laughs> oh my goodness. So, what kind of account do you have in mind? I'm not sure exactly. That's an interesting time, Mr. Ipkiss. Stanley Ipkiss. Tina Carlisle, pleased to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. May I? May you what? Such a mess. Oh, of course. <laughs> That's what they're there for. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying about that tie, you know, it sort of looks like um, a young woman riding bareback, sort of a Lady Godiva or something. Of course. What do you see, Mr. Ipkiss? I don't know. Bright colors. <laughs> it's <powerful>. Smooth. <laughs> it's supposed to make you feel powerful. Does it work? No. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. Uh, we have uh, several different points. <laughs> <laughs> savings and checking. CDs, savings and She's savings. scouting the, the vault. Or we could just take all your money and throw it in a big mattress back. <laughs> <laughs> now I have some uh, So she's the villain. Yeah. Or thief. That's sweetheart. a little bit to the right. What do you think? Layout's not bad. Motion detectors are a pain. You can't pull this off, right? You talking to the doctor. I do have one question. What does Nico have to say about all this? Saying his grip. Everything is his grift. He owns this whole stinking town. Things change. You mess with Nico, you end up taking a dirt nap. He's the only one who's napping. And I'm about to give him a serious wake up call. Oh. But we need some cash. So first we take the bank, then we take Nico, and then my friend's school is out. This whole city is our playground. <laughs> Sounds like they're up to no good. Hello? What can I do for you? 
uh, here for the Civic. The brake drums are shot, and you need a new transmission. All I wanted was an oil change. Sign uh, right here, and there's no price. There will be. So there's totally ripping them off. I have to have a car tonight. Bring around the loner. So he's just the nice guy that gets kind of ripped off and kind of done dirty. <laughs> That's a relatable character type, I feel like, for, for a lot of people. <laughs> you knew it. <laughs> Classic! Charlie! Gals, want you to meet my buddy Stanley Ipkiss? You mungo in the banking business. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Bobby! Hey, Charlie, how, how you doing? How are you? I'm no hey. okay, then. Come on, gals. See on the inside. Ooh. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> Whoa! No, but my Lose. friends are on the inside. Lose them. Hey, ha! Oh! <sighs> Can't catch a break. Oh, jeez. You knew it. You knew it. Mr. Ipkiss. Hi. Are you okay? Great. Really good. Catching some air out here. Your car, sir. That's not my car. All right. I'll take it. <laughs> but I am very angry. There it is. <laughs> it's quite the night. It's quite the breakdown for a car, literally. Hey! Hey, mister! Hold on! I know CPR! <laughs> There it is. I don't think my instinct would be to put that on my face. <laughs> After it just got out of the grimy water. Hey you, what are you doing down there? Looking for my mask. I got it. It's been a tough night. It has. Do you have any idea what time it is? Actually, no. My new carpet! Well, this is coming right out of your security deposit, Ipkiss. You know, Mrs. Peeman. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. Aren't you due back at the laboratory to get your bolts tightened? <laughs> I should have said that. Do you want me to throw that? I'm very tired. Okay. I'll I'm very tired. Time. Gonna throw it with you attached to it. Oh. <laughs> you ready? Get it. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Peanut. We're saying that everybody wears a mask. That's correct, Wendy. We all wear masks. That dude. Horribly acceptable image. What's the matter with you? What are you looking for, huh? You like it? The masks we wear. That's correct, Wendy. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, right. Yeah, I don't think I would go back for a second time. You wouldn't be curious, Shell? No! Like, suck to my face? D-A-R-T. Why? Because I gotta! <laughs> Just had that with him. <laughs> yeah, she freaked out over the carpet. It's quite the mask. It's like superpowers. Or it 100%. Makes, makes it like a Roger Rabbit uh, yeah. cartoon character. I'm Roadkill! <laughs> I think he wants to communicate. <laughs> hey, 
missed you. Got the time? As a matter of fact, I do, Cubby. You want to take him? Look at that! It's exactly two seconds before I honk your nose and pull your underwear over your head. Good! <laughs> 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 Trick. I'd like to do something for you, son. We have a giraffe. Thanks. Wow. Sorry, wrong pocket. For you, son, a French poodle. Sorry, son, the dog was rabbit. Had to put it down. Last but not least, my favorite. A Tommy gun. He's a madman. <laughs> he is. Incredible. I could be a superhero! I could fight crime, protect the innocent. Quit for world peace! But first... Hold on to your luck, not time for an over! <laughs> <sighs> What's a dream? <sighs> I gotta lay off the cartoons. Ipkiss? Yes? Do you know anything about the disturbance last night? Some kind of prowler broke in and attacked Mrs. Peenman. You didn't hear anything? She unloaded a couple of rounds of 20 odd buckshot. He put that right in my floor! This is impossible. Those pajamas are impossible. <laughs> See, I have uh, an inner ear problem. <laughs> Here's my card. You remember anything unusual? Call me. You betcha. Good luck uh, cracking the case. Late! Where's the keys? Milo! Get the keys! <laughs> Keep found one. Drop it! Oh! <laughs> I want a proctologist standing by! Oh! Oh! Where were you last night? Did you happen to look outside? Did you check the morning paper? Your girlfriend got a great review. Ipkiss, you're 40 minutes late. Now that's the same as stealing. <laughs> <laughs> it, it'll never happen again. If you weren't busy uh, oogling girly pictures, you might actually get some work done around. <laughs> My gosh, <laughs> jerk. She's a prospective client of Stanley's. Oh, really? Well, the next time she comes in, you be sure to send her to my office. You betcha. Gee, I wish my daddy owned a bank. <laughs> you think she'll ever come back, Charlie? Forget her. A girl like that is always looking for the BBD. The bigger, better deal. You don't know that, Charlie. She's an artist. <laughs> you don't need her, man. You need somebody... Somebody with red hair. Full pouting lips, a white blouse, a green jacket, and a name tag. Well, you really narrowed it down. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty specific. <laughs> Hell. Hello there, may I be of some assistance? Stanley Ipkiss. Hi, I'm Peggy Brandt from the Tribune. Hi. I just want to ask you a few questions. About what? Ripley Auto Finishing. You're a customer of theirs, aren't you? Me? No. I don't even have a car. You know, because they pollute. You don't own an 896? Oh, that car, yeah. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> What'd you say your name was? Peggy Brandt. Peggy Brandt? Of Ask Peggy? Yeah, that's right. You printed one of my letters last year. Remember? Nice guys finished last. <laughs> You're Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> Do you realize how much mail we got about that? Literally hundreds of women out there looking for a guy just like you. Really? Yeah. So she'll be like the real love interest. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing okay. so, yeah. Most of them think monogamy some kind of wood. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, why are you covering this story? I'm looking to become a real reporter. When you were at Ripley Auto, did you see anything suspicious? I just want the truth. God, I wish I knew the truth. No. If you think of anything, this is my number. This is my personal number. You really think hundreds of women are looking for a guy like me? Sure, I'm one of them. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't mean to say that. Hello, Dorian. Thanks for dropping by. Next time, why don't you call, all right? Oh. Ooh. Cops uh, tried to shut the club down this morning. They say you've been using the place to run your own small time scams. I'm fed up with you, Dorian. I'm going to cut you a break. One week to get out of town. After that, I'll use your empty little skull to break in my new nine iron. But nothing can save you from your strip kiss. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> 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 
in his face is like, oh. <laughs> Ew. Like, don't do it, dude. I don't know if the green guy is like an improved version of you. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't believe so. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure it would be a temptation. I wouldn't really want to have a green face though, you know? <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> Hold on, sugar. Daddy's got a sweet tooth tonight. <laughs> Yeah, everything is very Looney Tune like. Yeah. And I mean, there's already been multiple references to Looney Tunes. Right. <laughs> Somebody stop me! Uh oh. Can't make the scene if you don't have the green. I better make a little step. <laughs> at a bank, I'm guessing. <laughs> the bank he works at. He's gonna barge in when they're trying to rob the bank. The doctor is about to operate. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> How do you? <laughs> you on the list? No, but I believe my friends are Franklin, Grant, and Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Now we present to you beautiful flower of the Coco Bongo, Miss Tina Carlyle. Love makes me treat you nothing too good. I bought you a fur coat for Christmas ring. Ain't I good to you? Got trouble. You better come upstairs. Come on, let's go. Let's rock this joint. I'd be like, who is this guy with this green face? <laughs> I think she's into him. Um, oh, I think they have similar personalities. <laughs> Not the best. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. That's the one quote from the movie I know. <laughs> the smoking. The smoking, yeah. Someone hit the joint before we cut it. Oh. Who did this, man? Him! That's the guy! Guy dancing with Tina? He's dead meat. <laughs> I love how no one finds this weird. There's, right, there's, he has all these, like, uh, you know, not human abilities. They're just into it. And that this is happening. They're like, seems legit. <laughs> yeah, I like the show. <laughs> Oh! Hello! Oh, I'm back to his old tie. That's how they're gonna piece it together. The tie. Or his pajamas or something. It was like his material. Yeah. Okay, Twinkle Toes. I wanna know where my money is, and I wanna know right now! Okay. You've got 17.5% in T-bills amortized over the fiscal year. Ice this deadbeat! <laughs> Shoot him! <laughs> Hi, 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 hi! Thank you very much. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh, you got me, partner. <laughs> Hold me closer in. It's getting dark. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Annie M to let old Yeller out. <laughs> Tell Tony Tim I won't be coming home this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Scarlet I do give a damn. <laughs> Pardon me. He's crying. Thank you. I need you love me. That guy straightened his hair out. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> 
Hey, Galloway. Drop it! So you got a warrant this time? What I got is probable cause. A couple of your boys were spotted knocking over Red City Bank, hey. and one of them was wearing a big green mask. Except it wasn't one of my boys. Cough bomb. Hey, Lieutenant, we got a stiff upstairs. It's one of the guys from the heist. Better call that high-priced lawyer of yours, Terrell. Get him out of here. Yeah. Ipkiss. Ipkiss, I know you're in there. Please! <sighs> Open up. Epkis, I know you're in <laughs> No, no, no. I'm coming. Okay, I'll be right there. Let's go. Epkis, move it. Hi, Lieutenant. Won't you come in? Where were you last night, Epkis? Here, mostly. What do you know about this mask character? He robs the bank you work in, and then I find this in the Coco Bongo. There can't be two idiots with pajamas like these. Milo, no! May I see those pajamas, Mr. Ripkiss? Those pajamas were stolen. Somebody stole your pajamas? <laughs> I mean, uh, what is this city coming to when a man's pajama drawer is no longer safe? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's that fast at my bank. I don't know, boss. That's one hell of a rubber mask. What did the lab report say? Well, we got some fingerprints on some of the currency, but nothing matches Terrell's men. Get the bank employee files and run down the prints on a guy named Ipkiss. I figure it was an inside job, huh? 50 grand to the man who finds that green face. I want you to get the word out. I want him here tomorrow alive. Come on, let's go! You're losing it, Dorian. I'm not losing anything, except maybe some extra baggage around here. What is that supposed to mean? You weren't putting up much of a fight with that freak show last night when he tried to kiss you. Oh. Did it look like I had much of a choice? Maybe you didn't. <laughs> who knows, right? It's gonna be payback for anybody who crosses me. Ipkiss! We have a crisis on our hands here. And you stroll in over an hour late? You're... Back off, monkey boy! Before I tell your daddy you're running this place like it's your own personal piggy bank. Or maybe we should call the IRS. <laughs> See if we can arrange a little vacation for you at Club Fat! That'll be all, Ipkiss. <laughs> <sighs> Genius. I have chills. See, it's rubbing off on him. He's finding it inside. <laughs> Lady. Well, you don't look real fabulous, now. Do I look bad? Not to worry. This will put the color back in your cheeks, my friend. Two tickets to the charity ball at the Coco Bongo Club this Saturday night. Wait just a minute. Tina, what are you doing here? I just wanted to thank you. I'm not sure if I'm going to have much to open an account with anymore. Well, what about the club? I thought you were doing great. Man, look. it's not your problem. Come here. You didn't stop by just to see me, did you? It's okay. Tell me. The guy they say robbed this place, I think he was at the club last night. Really? They say he's pretty weird looking. <laughs> That's what he cares about. <laughs> you ought to see him dance. Anyone find out who he is? Why are you interested? Just curious, I guess. I better be going. Thanks for everything, Stanley. You'd like to see him again, wouldn't you? Wouldn't mind. We're old college buddies, him and me. Do you think you can have him meet me tonight? I might be able to work something out. Thanks, Stanley. This is an interesting piece, Mr. Ipkiss. Possibly a representation of Loki. Who's Loki? The Norse god of mischief. We all know Loki now. <laughs> then he could have banished him into that mask. I'm talking about mythology, Mr. Epcus. your book. My book is about masks as a metaphor. You're suffering from a mild delusion. I'm gonna prove it to you. You know it's not gonna do it. I am not responsible for the consequences. Enjoy the ride. You don't scare me, Mr. Epcus. Do it. said Loki was a night god. Maybe it only works at night. I feel I should warn you that I don't work personally with really sick people. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to see Tina. But what do I do? I mean, do I go as myself or the mask? If I tell you, you promise to leave my office right now. Mm -hmm. Go as yourself and as the mask. Because they are both one and the same beautiful person. Got the cross check on the fingerprints for you. It's Ipkiss, all right. Just keep the SWAT team standing by. Do you have the pickle relish? Doyle, get in the car. But I ordered onion rings. Doyle? Doyle? No. No. Stanley, what are you doing here? I, I just wanted to come by and, and make sure that you two got together all right. I hardly ever stopped by here. Kind of hard to believe it was just a garbage heap. It's, uh, it's really beautiful right around sunset. The methane emissions really pick up the colors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's 
My friend will, will be along here any minute. I, I, I better go. Stanley, wait. Stanley! <laughs> Hello, Sherry. Où est mes Is it written in the stars that we are destined to fraternize? I'd like to think so! <laughs> Kiss me, my dear, and I will reveal my croissant. I will dip my ladle in your vicious walls! <laughs> oh. She is so coy. <laughs> <laughs> Is like a red, red road, a little thorner. <laughs> I need backup. Cigarette. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> Police. Yeah. Freeze. Put your hands up. But you told me to freeze. Don't freeze. Or under arrest. It wasn't me. It was the one-armed man. I did it, you hear? And I'm glad. Glad, I tell ya! What are they gonna do to me, Sarge? What are they gonna do? Sorry, son. Not my department. Search him. All right, looks like it's gonna be a long night. Cops got your pal, Ipkiss. Let me cover it, Murray. I really need this story. And then you can go home to Claire. The big sunglasses. Boy oh. corn. Mama my bass. Wow. Bowling pin. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Mousetrap. Rubber chicken. Little to the left. That's it. I don't know. Guy ball glasses. I've never seen those before in my life. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I have a permit for that. Bazooka. I have a permit for that. Margaret! Son of a- Jeez, I figured you had a sense of humor. After all, you marry her! Ah! That's gotta hurt. Get him! It's all over, FPS. Put your hands over your head or we'll open fire. Hit it! <laughs> they call me Cuba Pete. When I play the maracas, I go chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. I'm the craze of my naked freak. The senoritas, they the dance and they bring a happy little song all the day long. Chick chicky boom. Chick chicky boom. Chick chicky boom. I know that you would like a chicky boom. Oh, nice. So he has like a magic over everyone. Yeah. Dancing, I'll blow your brains out. Oh, it's intense. See ya! Stop out of it! Dance is over! Ah! Down the alley! Ah! Stanley! Stanley, get in! There he is! Oh! Or I'll shoot! I saw it. I saw everything. What's happening to you, Stanley? I'm losing control. When I put that mask on, I can do anything. But it's wrecking my life. I don't know what's happening to you, Stanley, but I do know this. That letter that you sent my column, that was from a guy with more guts and more heart than any of the creeps that I've met in this city. Whatever that mask is, you don't need it. You, Stanley Ipkiss, are already all you'll ever need to be. She's really into him. I like it. Gosh, Peg, do you really mean that? Actually, no. Oh, oh, I was expecting that. What took you guys so long? I've been vamping here for like 20 minutes. Is this him? Dang, she's bad too! Yeah. Give her the money. When he puts on the mask, he turns into that green thingamajig. Becky, what are you doing? You really are a great guy. I just can't lose my condo. You know how hard it is to find an apartment in this city. Man, is anyone gonna be good besides him? Ah! 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 Go! Tell me, how's this mask work? You just put it on! Oz, you better be careful, huh? This could be an epic disaster. I think this guy is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> what a rush! Yeah, if it makes a good guy that way, yeah. You okay? Better than ever, you idiots. What do we do with Ipkiss? The police are looking for the mask, so we'll give them the mask. <laughs> Money better be here, Ipkiss, or you can Ipkiss your goodbye. <laughs> Good one. Orlando. Go. Run! Dog is very smart. <laughs> Captain's gonna have my badge for breakfast. It's not all your fault. Something will turn up. Stanley Ipkiss is gonna fall right into my lap. 
I can explain everything. Explain everything? Explain this. Um. <laughs> it's definitely not the right mask. Why is it? I, I guess like there's magic to it. Because why else would no one notice why he could do things that no human could possibly do? Yeah, that's you probably know. why they made. Maybe that's why they've been at like an alternate city. Find yourself a new place to live. Looks like I'm gonna be in here for a long, long time. No. Hey, you with the face. You got a visitor. You with the face. <laughs> that one. Tina. Hello, Stanley. What are you doing here? Is it true? You're the mask. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Get a good lawyer and strike up a deal. I can be out of here in about 10,000 years. You're taking a chance coming here. Your boyfriend might be uh, a little upset. He's gonna do something terrible. There's gotta be a way to stop him. How does it work? I don't know. It's like it, it, it brings your innermost desires to life. If deep down inside you're a little repressed and a hopeless <laughs> romantic, you become some sort of a love crazy wild man. So just like magnify as like a whoever you are. And we're all in big trouble. And if I were you, I'd get out of town fast. I think it's beyond magnifying. Like it, it tapped into his repressed feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all that. The you know, because he's been this nice guy all the time. But I don't think he, you know, would be a bad guy like the mask. No, but, yeah. he's just you know the only guy who treated me like a person and not some sort of party favor. He's won. He's won her heart over. You know that night at the club, I knew I'd found someone special. The mask. Oh, it's the guy inside the mask. It's you, all along, Stanley. Okay, lady. Time's up. Could, could I have just one more minute? I've got to disappear. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna go, but I'll let you know as soon as I can. Sweet hairdo. I, that's, oh, that's nice. Might be one of the best hairdos I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Guard, there's a woman being chased through the alleyway there. She needs help. Yeah, yeah, sure. Keep it down, Ipkiss. Servant protect, man! <laughs> Milo, Milo. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Can you jump up? Remember how I taught you not to jump up on people? Forget all that. Come on. Mm -hmm. Like, how high is this dog supposed to jump? <laughs> yeah. That's it. Come on. Come on. Put some effort into it. <laughs> <laughs> You are. I was beginning to get all worried about you. A nice little talk with the cops. Just went to see what Ipkiss told them. You two are getting awfully close. Maybe it was you who helped them out with the back job, huh? Look what I found in her car. Playing a little trip without me, baby. <laughs> Boys, I want you to pick her out something pretty to wear, okay? Because we're gonna go to a party tonight. Come on, Milo. Do it for daddy. It's the Michael Jordan of dogs. Air Milo. <laughs> Good boy. See that man over there? Uh -huh. He's got keys. Go get those keys. That's it. Not the cheese, the keys. He understands that well, <laughs> he just misheard. <laughs> Come here. Good. Oh, oh, give it, give it. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that, Don. Wouldn't want to start the celebration early, would you? Oh. Ah! No way you're walking out of here like this. You're absolutely right. You're gonna take me out. Ow. I'm very sorry about this. <laughs> oh. Got the wrong guy, I tell you. Hey, Lieutenant. He hates hot gay and ungay. Oh, I get it. You say ooh yay, Why don't you just sit back and relax, okay? I've got a change for the party. Me out of these cuffs, Ipkiss. You're driving like a maniac. Like we're already late for the ball. Alice and the White Rabbit are gonna be really disappointed. Who the hell are you? I'm just the next employee who's come for his back pay. Oh, yeah? Kill him! Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think I'd want that to be my my look. I will be your host for the remainder of the evening. It's interesting that with Jim Carrey's, they made him like bald with it, and like his character, they had him keep the hair with the face. Where is everybody? Exactly. Call for backup or something, Milo. 
you stay here and be a good boy, Daddy's gonna have to go kick some ass. <laughs> <laughs> This is your big production number. Charlie, what are you doing here? Take this button and start sneaking people out the back. This party's over in 10 minutes. This is a moment of truth. Crap. Drop it. <laughs> this dog. <laughs> hey, boss, look who decided to crash the party. Bring him up here! No, all I wanted was a kiss. A kiss. Oh, she's gonna get the mask. Smart. <sighs> Oh! Oh! No! Real Dorian, the one I used to love. Nobody ever kissed me like Dorian, Tyrell. Get it! The dog's gonna get it. Yeah, <laughs> there's the. There he is. <laughs> He's gonna have to put the mask on. <laughs> Not Milo! Oh! Oh! I, I did not see that coming! What is Milo gonna be like? Take your part. I hope you can enjoy the victory with one friggin' eye! <laughs> that punch. <laughs> 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 Milo! Oh my god! You still gotta get out! Yeah. There's still yeah, there's still a time situation here. Did you miss me? I guess not! Now you have to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well Do ya, punks? I like all the movies that have been quoted in this movie. A lot, yeah. yeah. Deadly! Oh my gosh. Success! Spicy meet the ball! What is this guy gonna try to do? This guy's incorrigible. <laughs> like, that's not worse. <laughs> You were good, kid. Real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see? Please! Hands up! <laughs> <laughs> Never gets to kiss. Come on. Get kiss! I've got you now, if you Watch it, Chunky. Mayor. <laughs> That man is the mask. No, Dorian Tyrell was the mask. This young man here just saved our lives. Well, that's nothing any American with balls of steel wouldn't do for his community. <laughs> Come on. That dog. See that Leave dog? Leave the dog alone. I want to see you in my office first thing tomorrow morning. Boy, that doesn't sound good at all. Shut up! You sure you know what you're doing, buddy? I'm sure. Then do what you gotta do. Sure, you're not gonna miss this guy? When he's gone, all that's left is me. Aww. Because the real you is good enough. That's right. I like it. Nah, he wants it. Nah, the dog wants it too. <laughs> And that was that a was mask. the mask. Uh, Natalie, you want to go first? You want me to go first? I can go first. Okay. Um, okay, I will say off the bat, I can't put this up here with some of my other favorite Jim Carrey movies, mm -hmm. but I will say I think that if I would have watched this as a kid, I probably would have liked it a whole lot more than yeah. I did as an adult. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because it is very, I feel like watching it, you know, as an adult, it's clearly was so inspired. Is it Roger Rabbit with like Jessica Rabbit? Yeah. Or, uh, you who, know, who framed Roger Rabbit? But even the effects, like when he is in the mask, like all the different things and the eyes and stuff, it just reminds you very much of a cartoon. Well, and uh, they, so and that they had... part, I appreciated the creativity of like, you know, bringing that into, 
to an actor. Well, they had Looney Tunes sent around. Like, there were multiple reference to Looney Tunes. Right. And then also you've got the reference to Loki for Marvel. As I said, it's kind of superhero-like. I agree with Natalie. For me, it's definitely not anywhere up there with my other Jim Carrey favorites. I mean, Jim Carrey's still Jim Carrey. He's still entertaining. Yeah, he's still great, of course. He is. And I, I do appreciate, especially in, today, in today's time, I appreciate, like, kind of the originality and the creativeness. Yeah, me too. Of the mask. And kind of, like, there's even kind of, like, a good message in it, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, obviously, he needed to define himself a little more, and maybe in that process he did. You know, and you want people that want you for you, and not, yeah. you know, and that you're good enough the way you are. The only thing I would say, too, it like, obviously, like I was saying during the movie, the mask brings out kind of the inner wants, but, like, I don't think that guy was ever going to rob a bank on his own. Like, you know, I, no. you know or, like, that was really some deep desire. I well, just... It's like he's it's a cartoon like character. magnified so many times, But I guess. you see, he wasn't even really, like, that mean or... Any, he no. wasn't, like, mean when he was like that. It was just, like, he was a silly and, like you said, hyper-romantic and... Yeah. But, yeah. And funny, you know. But, yeah, it, it was uh, fairly entertaining. Um, again, definitely not my favorites of Jim Carrey. Uh, Natalie, what are you going to rate this out of five? Five being the max level of who the max level of enjoyment that you can get. Natalie, what do okay. you give the mask? Even though I definitely enjoyed parts of it and I liked the concept in a sense, but I feel like as far as comparatively to other Jim Carrey movies, I'm going to give this one like three, three hoots. Okay. I was going to give this 3.5 out of five hoots uh, for, for the mask. I'm, so that, I'm harsh today. So, so that's where I was. I'll give it 3.5. Natalie gives it three. Uh, what are your thoughts on the mask? Did you grow up watching it? Are you a big fan? Where does it kind of rank in, in some of your other Jim Carrey movies? Share your thoughts below. And if you have not yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also give this video a thumbs up. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember to, to be, be a force, force of, of light. light. All right. Bye, guys.